Today, we are going to discuss the self-learning module for second quarter, week 4. For music, we have the music of Palawan and Visayas. Palawan music is characterized by the imitation of sounds from nature and the environment, like the chirping of the birds, sounds of insects, and the sounds of the wind and rain. Their music imitates the sounds of animals. In Palawan, we have two vocal music. Number one is Kulyal. It is a lyrical poem expressing love, accompanied by Kusyapi or Kudyapi, the two-stringed lute, and played by a man, and Pagang, a bamboo zither, played by a woman. Number two is Tultul. It is a vocal music about epic hero chanted at night, ending at daybreak. In Palawan instruments, we have Bagit. It is a music played on the Kusyapi showing rhythm, movements and sounds of nature like rustling of leaves, running water, chirping of birds, monkey, snakes, and others. Musical instruments are made up of wood, strings, and metals. Basal. It is a gong ensemble, consists of set of one or two big gongs, agong and a pair of ring gong, sanang, and drum called gimbal, as you can see on the picture. The gong ensemble plays an important role in the community of Palawan, as it is performed in public during rituals such as the tambilaw and tinapay. Next is the kudyapi or kusyapi, the wooden lute, as you can see on the picture, and the other is the pagang, the bamboo zither. On the next slide, you can see how does the Palawan instruments is being played. <laughs> Bye. 
ay tumapon ka The Visayan music is highly Spanish influence because they colonized the Philippines for a long time. Musical style of the Visayas is a song and dance debate between a man and a woman known as Balitao. The vocal music of the Visayans has different functions in his or her lives. The songs include children's songs, lullabies, ballad, working songs, and serenade. The theme of the musical style is about love and marriage and usually performed by a good singers as well as dancers and actors. The following are the example Visayan vocal music. Matud Nila, Rosas Pandan, Condansoy, Ilonga Bata, Dandansoy, Ili Ili Tulog Anay, Ako Kini Si Angi, and Si Pilimon. Visayan Instrumental Music From the Spanish word ronda means serenade. Rondalia, string ensemble originating from Spain, played with a pick or plectrum. The origins of rondalia were in the folk playing bands of stringed instruments that were played using the plectrum or pick, such as the piccolo, banduria, Lod, octabina, guitar, bajo de unas or double bass, and often a drum for percussion. Many Filipino musicians were able to lead the way in rondalia ensemble, and one of them was Juan Silos Jr., who is known as the father of rondalia. <laughs> the double bass and the percussion. Double bass is the largest instrument in Rondala, which provides a full and deep sound. As for the percussion, we are using many small percussions like the tambourines, maracas, bongos, but sometimes we will add the drum to create different effects. Next, we have the guitar section, which you should be most familiar with. Guitar is our go-to instrument for chord accompaniment in the rondale. Together with the double bass and the percussion, they can set the rhythm of the whole rondale music. Moving on, we have the Filipino Octavina and Mandola. They both have 14 strings divided into 6 sets. Each set contains either 2 or 3 strings. They are actually on the same range, but the mandola has a bigger body so it can provide a richer sound. Next, we have the Spanish and Filipino louds, which are also on the same pitch. The Spanish loud is two semitones higher than the Filipino counterpart. Together with the octavina and mandola, they supply the inner harmonics of the ensemble. Now we have the mandolin section. The 
mandolin is actually an Italian instrument and it's usually unseen in other rondalias. But NUS rondalia has adopted a wider spectrum of sound. It has the same string as the violin, but it has frets on the fingerboard and use a plug instead of a bow. And last but not least, we have the soprano instrument of the rondella called the bandurias. This instrument is one octave higher than the laos, but similar to the laos, the Spanish bandurria is also two semitones higher than the Filipino ones. It is a bamboo and drum ensemble used by the natives for communication. To produce sound of the body of the bamboos, they are being struck by sticks. Binanog, gong, drum, and wooden percussion ensemble used to accompany a dance movement imitating the flight of the hawk. The next slide is another example of Visayan song entitled Sipilimon. Sipilimon, Sipilimon, na masul sa kadagatan, na kakuha, na kakuha, ugis dang tambasakan. Paligya, kipaligya Sa merkadong gupa Ang halin pulos kura Ang halin pulos kura Igo lang ipanubang Si Pelimon, si Pelimon Na masul sa kadagatan Nakakuha, nakakuha O gisdang tambasakan Kibaligya, kibaligya Sa merkadong gupa Ang alin pulos ko na Ang alin pulos ko na Igo lang ni Pano ba? Sa merkadong gupa Ang halin pulos ko ra Ang halin pulos ko ra Igo lang ni Pano ba? Arts and Crafts in Mimaropa and Visayas Let's recall the products or arts and crafts of each place in Mimaropa and the Visayas Each place has its own unique arts and crafts why? Because the materials that they use are native and can be found in their place. They make and produce a product useful for their everyday life and as a means of living. As you can see on the chart, these are the place and the arts and crafts of each place. Marinduque, we have baskets made of buri palm and rapia. In Mindoro, we have baskets made of nito grass with intricate patterns and designs of humans, animals, trees, and other objects. Palawan, basket called tingkop, made of the blackened and natural bamboo, black wood sculpture of animals. Romblon, we have mats and bags made of romblon plants and marvels. In Visayas, we have kapis, patadyong, sinamay products. 
The Atiyatihan Festival is regarded as one of the most colorful and most fun festivals in the Philippines. The participants paint their faces in different ways and dress in impressive costumes, as you can see on the picture. Mascara Festival in Bacolod City, or the City of Smiles, is considered as the most spectacular display of colors, beauty, and culture of Negrenses. The smiling mask has become the city's symbol, which earned them the moniker City of Smiles. Kasadyaan Festival in Tacloban City This festival features the unique culture and colorful history of the province of Leyte. They reenact their pre-Spanish history, epics, and folk religious through street dancing, as you can see on the picture. The highlights of this event is the Pentado Dance Presentation. Physical Education in executing skills in table tennis on this module, the player's training is mostly based on speed, coordination, and reaction time. Learning to control the ball using the racket is a skill that requires dedication to the training to master it. Table tennis is a ball and racket type of sports. It is an exemplary game of skill requiring remarkable hand-eye coordination by the players. It was used to be the sports of the aristocrats and people of higher society in Victorian era, England, playing in a tennis field as a leisure sport. Table tennis, on the other hand, is a makeshift version of the sports tennis by the British military officers posted in India. David Foster invented the game table tennis in the late 1880s. Ping pong is another name for table tennis. International Table Tennis Federation or ITTF is the governing body of the competitive table tennis worldwide and was formed on January 16, 1926 with the representatives from Austria, England, Germany, and Hungary. 1988 is the year when the table tennis has been an Olympic sport. There are two ways of holding the racket of the table tennis. As you can see on the picture, we have the standard or the handshake grip and the pen hold grip. Table tennis can be played by either two players or single event or by four players or a double event. Controlling the ball is an essential skill in playing the sport. By practicing this kind of sports, players develop much on their speed, body coordination, and reaction time. How to play table tennis or ping pong. Hello friends, today we'll learn the rules of table tennis. Table tennis is also known as ping pong. Table tennis can be played by two or four players. In table tennis, the object is to be the first player to reach 11 points to win a set, and then win the best of three, five, or seven sets to ultimately win the game. Table tennis is played on a wide table, nine feet long and five feet wide, and is two and a half feet above the ground. The net is hung six inches above the table. Rules of table tennis. One, the toss of a coin determines which of the players serves first. 2. The service must start with the ball in an open palm. 3. The ball must be above and behind the table throughout the serve. 4. After throwing the ball, the server must get their free arm and hand out of the way. 5. The ball must first bounce on your side and then over the net in your opponents. 6. 
your opponent must allow the ball to hit their side of the table before trying to return to you. 7. If the ball hits the net and doesn't go over, the point goes to the other team slash player. There are no second serves. 8. After each game, the players must rotate both the end of the table from which they are playing as well as who serves and receives the ball first. 9. In the deciding game of a match, the players swap ends after either player reaches 5 points. Scoring When a player or pair first scores 11 points, they win the set. If both players and pairs score 10 points, then the first player or pair to gain a two-point lead wins the set. The winner is the player or pair who wins the best of three, five, or seven sets. A point is scored when, one, a player fails to make a legal service. Two, a player fails to make a return. Three, the ball touches any part of the player's body. Four, a player strikes the ball twice in succession. 5. If players touch the table with their free hand or move the table. 6. If a doubles opponent strikes the ball out of sequence established by the first server and first receiver. What is let? A let or a situation requiring a replay may include if the ball hits the net during a serve before touching the opponent's court if an umpire interrupts the game, and the ball is served if one player is not ready. We hope you learned table tennis rules, and now you know how to play table tennis properly. Have fun! Malnutrition and Micronutrient Deficiencies Malnutrition is a condition wherein a person does not get enough amount of right food. We have two kinds of malnutrition, the undernourished, are those people who has a little access of healthy foods or those who eat foods with not enough nutrients, while overnourished people are those who has excessive intake or of too many calories or fatty foods. To prevent malnutrition, we have to eat a variety of foods from each healthy food groups and drink 8 to 10 glasses of clean and safe water every day. Obesity is a medical condition which a person has too much fat that can lead to some serious diseases like heart and intestinal problems. Following the food guides like the food pyramid and the food plate, good and healthful food selection is a lead on attaining wellness in your body. The following are the health risks of being overweight or obese. We can have high blood pressure, heart diseases, or stroke, and other diseases. These are the different causes of obesity. Unhealthy diet, unhealthy lifestyle, no activity, or no exercises. It may also be uh, due to hereditary, due to stress, and other medical conditions. You may avoid or prevent being obese by doing physical exercises and eat healthy foods every day. Improper food selection and volume of food may lead you to malnutrition and micronutrient deficiencies, which are harmful to the wellness of the person's body. Micronutrient deficiencies are diseases caused by deficiency of micronutrients like vitamins and minerals in their eating diet. The following are the common deficiencies in kids. Iron, vitamin D, zinc, and calcium. Vitamin A deficiency or VAD, iron deficiency anemia or IDA, and iodine deficiency disorder or IDD are the most common micronutrient deficiencies in the whole world. The following shows the types of micronutrient deficiencies its indications or causes, and prevention. Vitamin A deficiency or the VAD primarily affects children but the effects last for a lifetime. Iron deficiency anemia or the IDA is a condition in which the red blood cell count or hemoglobin is less than normal. While iodine deficiency disorder or the IDD results from lack of iodine in the diet. Iodine is needed 
for the production of thyroid hormone. Now, let's discuss the module number 4, Activities. In music activity week 4, here is a Visayan song entitled Sipilimon. You are going to listen to the music Sipilimon, study the lyrics and the melody of the song. After that, make use of the instruments that you have discovered and play it while singing the song together with your family members and form an ensemble. Ensemble means a group of musicians who perform together. Dito sa music activity ninyo, kailangan meron kayong mabuong na tinatawag nating ensemble. Ibig sabihin, it is a group of musicians who perform together. So, uh, merong kumakanta at meron din tumutugtog dito sa activity ninyo. Pwedeng dalawa kayo, tatlo or apat, kung sino yung available sa family members ninyo. Sa pagtugtog naman, hindi kailangan na instrument talaga. So, pwedeng improvise or kahit ano na uh, makikita nyong object sa bahay na pwedeng gamitin para makapag-produce uh, ng sound. For your art activity, you are going to follow the steps and procedures on how are you going to do the activity 1, mat weaving, activity 2, mass making, and activity 3, combining of activities 1 and 2. The exercises in PE activity are mostly leg works, which strains the endurance and stamina to keep it up on the sports. So, we have the table tennis training at home. Nandiyan na rin yung link sa module and follow the 10 a basic training at home. Make a video record of one of the movements. Ask for the, your parents or guardian for help. The recorded video clip will be submitted to the subject teacher. After recording your PE activity, you're going to answer the guide questions. Health Activity Week 4, you're going to answer the phrases below if the following is a fact or a bluff. Put a check mark to the box on the side of the phrases in choosing your answer. In Health Activity number 2, the following acronyms are the most common type of micronutrient deficiency. Write the letters that match the phrases. You're going to write VAD for vitamin A deficiency, IDA for iron deficiency anemia, and IDD for iodine deficiency disorder.